Thank you for joining us, Glacier Adventure fans. We have the distinct pleasure of Wendy Hill, Executive Director of the Glacier Association, joining us, sorry about that, today here in the Belton Depot, a historic depot, still a working train station. Thanks so much for joining us, Wendy. Thank you. And let's get started by talking about your job and the Glacier Association. What is the Glacier Association? The Glacier Association is a cooperating association of the National Park Service. We support Glacier National Park by donating a percentage of our gross sales each year in back to the education and interpretation programs and research projects in the park. And so when you say sales, I'm thinking you're meaning where we're standing in this this. Uh, bookstore, would that be a good description? Well, this bookstore as well as visitor centers and ranger stations in Glacier National Park. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yes. So there's more than one opportunity to uh, participate, so to speak. Absolutely. So tell me what your job entails here as executive director. Well, as executive director, I have the oversight of the entire organization. I work for a 12-member board of directors, which it was nine. We've just upped our board number to 12. Um, and we do the buying, the pricing, hiring the seasonal sales staff. I hire the sales or the staff in the in the depot here. We do a lot of um, a lot of scrambling in the winter to get ready for <laughs> summer. Sure, that's the case across the <laughs> valley, I think. And um, this is also a working. Depot, meaning the train stops here and actual train passengers, can they buy tickets here? No, they can't buy tickets, but we do have a, a contract with Amtrak every summer, and we, they pay us to keep the depot open from about the first part of June until the middle of September. We have somebody meet the train morning and night. And if you are uh, riding the train, uh, you'll go through, let's say you're coming, you're heading east, you'll go through Whitefish in the Whitefish train depot, and that's actually a place where you can buy tickets. And then I guess this is a stop, like a stretch your legs kind of stop? Just a very quick stop, let people on, off, that's it. They're gotcha. So it's nice and close to the park, uh, the west side anyway, and then you get another opportunity on the east side to get off as well. So uh, pretty, pretty cool, pretty historic. Uh, let's Speaking of historic, talk about something that happens annually, Spring for Glacier. It's a big fundraising event, and I'm going to let Wendy give the details because you obviously know more than I do. This will be our first time participating, so if you give me the scoop on who uh, the partners are, what it's for. The, this is a four-partner fundraiser. There are four official nonprofit partners for Glacier National Park, the Glacier Association, the Glacier Institute, the Glacier National Park Associates, and the Glacier National Park Fund. And each year, this started, um, the idea was brought about in 2003 after the fires to let's do something to benefit the four nonprofit partners and then in turn benefit Glacier National Park. And so 2004 was the first one. This will be our fifth. Wow, I didn't realize it, it was so many years. I thought it was just, you know, the first or, or no, second or third. No, this is our Five fifth. Five years. Wow. Five years. And so it's an evening uh, dedicated to the park. I know it starts across the street at the Belton Chalet, and then it goes to uh, Lake McDonald Lodge, correct? That's correct. It um, starts at 4 o'clock at the Belton, and there's hors d'oeuvres and beer and wine, and the beer and wine have all been donated, as well as the hors d'oeuvres have all been donated at the Belton. Um, then at Lake McDonald Lodge, we have a huge spread of food, more beer, more wine, a silent and live auction. And then proceeds from that go to the partners, which in turn goes to help the goes park. To, right. Goes to support the mission of Glacier National Park. And this is a really unique opportunity because, if I'm not mistaken, you get to ride a red jammer from one location to the other. And my hope, I think, is that it's going to feel sort of like your park for the night. Absolutely. It'll be an absolutely wonderful evening. We have such a good time. I, I can't wait. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. And actually, I'm kind of thinking we maybe should book a room at the, uh, at the Lake McDonald Lodge, given what you've just described. Well, at the Lodge or at the Belton. They were both offering oh. um, specials for that night. And then last but not least, uh, where can people buy tickets for this event? And do you know what the ticket sales are? Do you know if they're still available? There, there are still tickets available, and they can call 888-9039. And they can get somebody, as long as somebody's there to answer the phone, um, they'll be able to make a reservation. 
And then last but not least, for those uh, people who unfortunately won't be here locally to attend this event, how can they learn more about the Glacier Association, perhaps purchase books? Um, is there a way, perhaps online, I'm guessing? Absolutely. We have a website, glacierassociation.org. Um, it has all of our books. There's a way to become a member. If they just want to make um, a donation, that's possible too. We do that. We, you know, anything they want to do. And then actually, uh, I think that um, we'll have a link off the homepage to the Glacier Association website, along with more information on this wonderful Spring for Glacier event coming up. Wendy, thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for coming up.